Hi, I'm Amy Dunker at Clark University. Welcome to Trumpet Quick Lessons. Bordoni Melodic Studies, number 33. It's an andante. Um, all of these are, are our lyrical studies, uh, more originally meant for singing, so you really want to shape the phrases, uh, work on crescendos and decrescendos within each phrase. I know there's, there's not much mark there. In fact, you've got mezzo forte, then you've got mezzo forte again, but nothing else in the middle, which really means that you've got to do something to have a reason to come back to mezzo forte. I like to crescendo not only within the phrases, but also help the phrases uh, build. I like to build up to the um, last two measures of the second line, and that'll also help you with those big leaps. So everything before that just kind of builds to that space and then comes away. And then I like to build up again, starting in the fourth line, pickups to the last measure. I like to build that all the way through with the grace notes because there's a little bit more motion and then come back down to the D and then pick it up back to the um, A section again. It's the, it's the original theme again. And then you're building into some 16th notes. Um, at the very beginning with that large leaps at the end of the second line, just really work on practicing the leaps. those get really comfortable then you can put it in the line and that will really help because then you're just focusing on those leaps and then putting it within the line um going back down now to the ending the last section 
where you've got more motion, you want to put the motion within the fingers and also within the crescendo de crescendo. So starting about bar 37. at the in bar 40 between the low C and the high C which I didn't do before but it made it virtually impossible to finish the phrase so you really want to do that so you can put in a good rallentando so that's a good breathing spot that they didn't really give you um, you get down to the second to last line you really have to do something with those long held notes sitting on them sounds boring So you want to really just subtly move that all forward. The climax is that, that big G up there. So on and so forth. So really, you know, and you're going to pull back with the air because it's, it's a fairly long phrase. So you want to put small incrementations up there and then when you get sort of to the end of that dotted half note to really push a little bit more to get it to go you take that line back down to mezzo piano and then you've got da -da -dee. and then here's the big So with that big ending, you want the big crescendo there, a little bit on the first two notes where it starts, all the way up to the F. You want to come down again a little bit on the F, and then so you have room to build and pull back and still be able to hold it out long enough. Um, beautiful little study. There's multiple ways you can do things with this. Um, if we're going to look at the theme, which is at the beginning, you can just, uh, and also appears again at 29, you can do... covered or you can really push on those G sharps or you can crescendo to the A to the in the second bar so a lot of ways you can play it that are just um, easily equally valid and you know expressive you have to make your decisions where you're going to go with with each motive with each phrase with each line